Okay guys, how you doing, huh? So today I'm going to show you this over here. So this is a brand new Motorola Moto G because I got the power. So as you can see, this phone is new. It's very cool. It looks like actually I got a message. It's saying, don't forget to pick up that body up in Tony's trunk. Capiche? Yeah, I got to do that next couple days. You know how bodies get after a while. They start smelling and getting all stinky. But I'll take, take care of that Tony. All right, so I'm going to just show you some basic settings on this phone. And this phone really packs a lot of punch. You get your money's worth. Uh, and it is available on Amazon, which I will put a link in the description below. Um, it's got a nice camera set up, as you guys can see on the back. It's got a whole bunch of lenses and flashes and whatnot. But what I'm really going to show you guys is just how you get started on this phone. The basic settings. Um, and to get your settings and your notifications, just giving you tips as we go along. You know, you always drag all the way down and you can see at the very top, you know, you have your Wi-Fi, your location, your rotation, flashlight, Bluetooth, and that is uh, screen sharing. So you go down further and you can always adjust these if you want, you know, add and subtract different things. But your little crank here, that's going to be where you go in all the settings. That's where I'm going to show you some stuff. Um, so let's see, guys. Obviously, as soon as you get the phone, you're going to have to set up your network. Um, so to have your password ready for all that and the main thing I want to show you guys is display settings because this is you know real really you can enjoy your phone and the font size and wallpaper you know all that good stuff so what we're going to do is we're going to go into over here and the first thing you guys are going to want to change is your brightness level I have it on 85 but out of the factory out of the box um, it's really going to be a lot darker you know I don't know if you guys can see because my camera is probably adjusting, but they really have it at like 65 or something. So I recommend going up to 85 uh, and it adds a nice little boost, um, nice little brightness. And I have the night light off, um, you know, because I just want it to be bright no matter where I'm at, which is another reason why I don't use the adaptive brightness. I have that off because that means if you're in a tunnel or if you're in a cave or maybe uh, you're digging a ditch or something and it's dark, then it adjusts and it gets darker for you. No, I want that bright. I want that to pop, baby, you know? Oh, now it's asking like if I want help or something. No, I'm good over here. All right. So we also have the peak display. Um, that, that's like the peekaboo. And if you remember Iron Mike Tyson, he used to always do the peekaboo. That's what made him famous. So I have that set to on. Um, that's just so you can see more things and more information on your screen when it's off and you tap it and whatnot. Um, wallpaper. This actually has some decent factory wallpaper, believe it or not. So I'm just going to show you this. As you can see, I have the lock screen setting right here. Um, I have this. This is a, a planet. I think this is one that Elon Musk owns or he went to recently. Um, but then you got the home screen. I like this one because this has the turtle and he's just going for a swim. He's just relaxed and chilling. So it has some decent factory ones and you guys can scroll down later, you know, and see everything. Like there's some pretty cool landscapes. Um, you know, so it's pretty cool straight out of the box. You know, you can pick some pretty good choices for your wallpaper. Um, I'll just show you some earth ones and different planets. That's pretty cool. So I won't go too much more into that stuff. But I want to show you a pretty cool feature on the wallpaper. I guess we'll go back into the fishies because, you know, people like sometimes sleeping with the fish, you know. So you actually have this option up here. It says daily wallpaper. So if you select this, it's actually going to change your wallpaper every day um, with different fishies and turtles and underwater stuff. Actually, there's not a lot of fishies in this wallpaper. wish there was more, but I got that lucky turtle. He's going to be alive forever and just keep on fighting and enjoying life at the same time. So that's cool. Every day you use your phone, you could have a different wallpaper automatically after, you know, with all the fishies. Kind of like your uh, desktop or laptop wallpaper sometimes. How it shows you different images or even your TV. So we'll go out of that. And I also wanted to mention that because I was having a problem with Zedge, guys. You guys know Zedge is great for wallpaper and notifications and everything. And it doesn't seem like it's so compatible with this Motorola. Or I haven't figured it out yet. It says it's not downloading to media. Um, so that's why I'm using some factory ones. I also downloaded another app for stuff like that. But uh, we know Zedge is the best. So if you figured out a way how to use Zedge, guys, on this, and you can download me and change it, let me know in the description, you know, and help out others. It's all about helping out others, you know. 
So you got to go to advanced settings, guys. And now we can see some more stuff. Um, screen timeout. You're going to want to set that to something. I forget what the factory was. I like two minutes. That means if you put your phone down, you walk away, you go bye-bye, maybe you make a hoagie. And after two minutes, that screen will go off. And you want it to go off and not stay on for, you know, 30 minutes, for example. Because the screen is probably what kills your battery life the most. Um, now, again, this is a Motorola G Power. And it's known to last actually like three days on standby, which is incredible. Um, but again, have your screen time off maybe two minutes. I think that's a good number. That's what I always do with my phones. Also, this phone has four gigabytes of RAM, guys. So it's pretty quick which is great for a phone, you know, that's only $180. Um, it was on sale Black Friday. It's probably still going to be around there. And as you know, with these phones, you can also add a micro SD card and boost up the memory, even though this comes with 65 gigabytes. Um, unlike the iPhones, you just can't add memory. Oh, you need more memory? Buy a new phone. I don't think so, Charlie. No thanks. Um, so right here is where you can also select the auto rotation screen. That means if you flip it horizontal, you know, the picture will change, and this is great when you're watching videos and looking at pictures and whatnot. And what else was I going to show you on here? Oh, colors, guys. This is pretty cool. You can automatically just change your colors. See if I can show you guys here. You have natural, which I think it comes with. Boost. Boost looks good. And saturated, I think, gives a little more color to uh, the hummingbird or, you know, bumblebee or whatever you call that. Um, so I set that for saturated. And... Let's see. Oh, yeah, font size, guys. So this is, let me show you what the default is. So this is the default font size. Sample text to give you. It's a wonderful Wizard of Oz, Chapter 11, the wonderful Emerald City of Oz, even with eyes protected. All right, I'll stop reading it. But you get the idea. So this is kind of a little tiny. So you can go a little bigger. You see, you know, you get the preview section. And uh, you go large, so now it looks larger. And then you can go largest, which is really large, uh, especially if you have trouble seeing or have to wear glasses. Now I would crank that up to the largest possible setting. And again, going back to default, you can see that that's not as easy to read. So we just go to the largest for that. And after that, we want to go to display size. And that's going to be like text messages and uh, different images, and maybe, uh, I don't know, it's display, different kind of displays. So like this is the default, you know, which is just default. And that's actually not too bad. But again, if you need it bigger, then you just go higher on the gauge. You know, we can go larger. We can go largest. And then you can see it really big. Hey, Pete. Hey, want to grab a coffee and catch up today? Yeah, Pete's a good guy. I like Pete. Uh, some people call him Pedro. Hello, Pedro. Okay, so let's go out of that. And was there anything else, guys? Um, not too much. There's actually a cool feature. You can see right here, you have the three finger screenshot, which is pretty cool. Kind of sounds like uh, maybe a martial arts moves or something or a death move or an MMA move. Three finger screenshot. Um, -ay! all right. So what you're going to do to take a screenshot instead of trying to remember, oh, it's this button, this button, is it that button? What's the combination? You just use your three fingers and it'll take a picture of the screen. So let's try Let's see. Does this really work? Put three fingers on the screen. Just took a snapshot screenshot, which is cool. And you can see at the top, I can discard it. I can save it. Um, but real quick, easy way to do a screenshot, which is pretty cool. So we'll discard it. But that's just a little tip and trick I figure I'd show you because I like tips and tricks, you know. They say tricks are for kids or tricks are for that rabbit. But uh, that rabbit's having a good time with that cereal all these years, I'll tell you that. So guys, I think that's about it. I just pretty much wanted to go on to some very basic stuff and the display is, you know, what you really want to set. Uh, as soon as you get this phone, it's going to be doing a lot of updates and restarts. Just let that all ride first. Let that all, you know, update everything because um, that's just, you know, going to make things easier later um, because you really want to start using your phone when it's fully updated and everything's set before you start playing with it and have fun. Um, and there's not a lot of whole other settings you really need to worry about in here. There's basic stuff, but... uh. You know, not too much. So I think that's it, guys. This was just a mini tutorial review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, i just show you a couple things real quick, I guess. You guys know you want to download apps, obviously, in your Google Play Store. You know, you go to the top left, you know, and you can even see your apps. You know, anything needs to be downloaded because a lot of your apps probably won't be downloaded. So you just want to update those. Um, you can update all. You can do automatic update. 
I don't want to do automatic update because then it just keeps going every day and you got all these bells and whistles and it just doesn't stop. Um, but you can search for any apps you want to add on your new phone. Make sure you have a SIM card in your new phone so you don't have to copy all the contacts individually. Um, if it's a different size SIM card, your old phone, your new phone, um, you'll actually probably have to go to, you know, your T-Mobile store, at and or wherever, and they can actually transfer them for you using a micro SD card or if they got some kind of, uh, you know, hookup with a couple little computers. And, uh, you know, like if you got a favorite app here, there's a whole bunch of different apps. Like say, oh, well, I want Google. Well, click and hold, and you can go put YouTube down here if that's one of your favorites, and you can switch, um, which is good. But these four on the bottom, actually, you couldn't even see that in the screen. These four on the bottom, you know, you hold this in, and then you can go down there, and you can, you know, plug and play and knock things out. You know, and maybe you want, you know, this over here, you know, or this actually on another page. You just click and hold and drag. But that's pretty much basic how all phones are. Um, but that's about it, guys. I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to purchase this Motorola, you know. Any comments or questions, leave them in the comment box. Give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and my commentary. And I always appreciate if you subscribe. You help support the channel. So take it easy, guys. Enjoy life. And don't worry. Be happy. All right, all right.